Hello, this is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Southern Chesterfield. More specifically, I am in the area around Matoaka High School. And today we're gonna to take a look at a four bedroom, two full, two half bath foreclosure. Yes, this is a foreclosure. Uh, this home is located on about 18 acres, and I came down this long, long gravel road to get here. This is a very secluded home. So if privacy is important to you, this might be the home for you. Uh, one thing I love about this home is the bank actually got it when it comes to marketing these homes. In many cases, banks will get foreclosures and they will do absolutely nothing to them, including they don't even want to turn on the electricity in many cases. They fortunately spent some money. They came into this home, they painted, they put in new carpet, they put in new appliances, and it really shows. Just to give you a little orientation, as we come in to the left, we have a hallway. This is Brazilian cherry, I do believe, uh, down into the formal dining space. Straight ahead, we have a beautiful family room with a nice stone fireplace. That is a wood burning fireplace beautiful vaulted ceilings. However, you gotta be careful when you come in. When I first stepped in, I noticed we have about four feet there, and then we've got a drop off into the sunken family room. So if you have a guest that is not paying attention or they're in a drunken stupor, they may be in for an unpleasant surprise. On this side of the home, we have our secondary bedrooms. Both of these have, or all of them have really nice closets. That's a double closet there in that bedroom. I'm gonna move a little quicker on this video than most because we've got over 3,200 square feet to cover. So I don't wanna belabor the video. We have a nice hall bath here, two individual vanities, and our fiberglass tub shower enclosure and the throne as well. I was just showing a house in Chesterfield before coming here and we noticed a white pipe in the basement. I've seen one once or twice before and I thought it was a radon system and I called the listing agent after leaving and she confirmed that it indeed was a radon remediation system. Radon is something that doesn't get a whole lot of attention here locally, uh, but I was talking to a radon contractor a couple years ago and he said that homes with elevated levels of radon, it's just like coming home, sleeping, and spending time, and actually smoking several packs of cigarettes a day. So radon doesn't get a whole lot of attention, as I mentioned, so it's a good idea for you to do research if you're thinking about buying a home and you wanna have a radon inspection, a radon testing done on that property. If you have any questions, the internet is a fabulous resource. There are all types of articles out there on radon. Okay, we have an absolutely massive two-level deck back here. Whoever built this house uh, clearly had a deck fetish. Uh, it is just decking everywhere. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, deck fetish. I guess you will never hear another agent describe a house and use the word fetish, but I think you probably understand what I'm talking about, a little rough around the edges, but I think you probably get the point. It's a nice deck. We've got 100% brick all the way around. We've got dimensional or architectural shingles. Those are the shingles that often last 35 or 40 years. So really nice level of finish on this home. Okay, we're gonna pop back into our family room and go into our dining area. We've got these beautiful wood floors. They got a nice, nice gloss on them. Straight back, we have our informal dining space. That's probably a good uh, 15, 17 feet. Granite countertops you can bring in about four bar stools, put them right there, and someone can supervise the food preparation going on in this beautiful kitchen. As I mentioned earlier, our stainless steel appliances are new. And we've got a nice island here with a unique type wood top on it. Uh, we also have a built-in range, excuse me, built-in oven and microwave. This is brand new, plastic still in place, and garbage disposal. You don't often see those. 
And we also have a wine cooler. You know you've moved outside of the realm of entry level or starter home when you start to see wine coolers in homes. Okay, here we have a mudroom area. We've got a place here for you to sit down, put your muddy boots uh, and items away. This is the laundry room. This is massive. This is probably uh, 10 feet by eight or so. Plenty of storage in there. Just to give you orientation, we've got stairs going up. That's our master. And that's our door going out the back. We have a beautiful pantry here. You also know that you've moved up in level when you have kitchen cabinets inside the pantry and inside the kitchen cabinet, you have a lazy Susan. So we've got storage inside of storage, really nicely done. Here towards the back door, we have a half bath. And I think what they envisioned was somebody can park and then come in the back door if you were kind of muddy or dirty. Let's pop outside and see, or pop and see this garage here. We've got a massive two car garage, plenty of storage in here. I wanna take you around. We've got a little uh, pedestrian door and then a little closet area here. This is kind of neat. They put, they framed it out as a door and um, I'm not sure what you'd store in there, but you've got additional storage capability. Look at this. This is attention to detail and pride and craftsmanship. We've got a deck here. It's not a deck, but it looks like a deck going into the house. So this is probably the nicest staircase I've ever seen in a garage. Very, very nice. We're gonna pop up, take a look at our second level, and then we're gonna come and finish down in the master. This is really, really nice. If you wanted to have a woman cave, this is probably about 20 feet wide and probably close to 30 feet long. A lot of space. Uh, they envision this being kind of a media room when you see all of those plugs. These are plugs for surround sound and we've got them everywhere it seems like. So they were really thinking when they put this floor plan and put the electrical plan in place, the wiring plan. Nice little bench there. Outside, we've got a metal storage building back there. You could store your tractor or whatever you wanted to put there. And yet another large room up here on the second floor. Plenty of space. You could still have one level living. And we got saloon doors bringing us into this really cute little powder room. Not the most typical door configuration that I've ever seen, but they made it work. Okay, let's go down and take a look at our master bath. We're gonna hang a left here. All right, we're now in our master bedroom. Nice big bedroom, tall ceilings, beautiful detail recessed lights. We also have ceiling fan. On this side, we've got cedar in the closet. So really nice touch. And on the opposite side, we don't have cedar. We just have regular drywall and plenty of shelves in there. They didn't do a door on either of these, which is kind of surprising. I thought maybe that they would have put a door on them. However, they do have <clears throat> a glass double door here going into the master bath. Look at the tile work around this tub. That is just absolutely beautiful. We've got a nice shower here. I want to show you inside the shower. We've got a beautiful shower head in place on that side. And on that side, we have a knob, but no shower. So it looks like Max will be paying for not only a shower head, but also the pipe that brings the water to the shower head. Double vanity here, little makeup table, really nice touch. And on that side, he does not get a makeup table. Over here, we've got a linen closet. And then behind me, the throne. I guess I better take that comment back about he doesn't get a makeup table because that could be considered sexist and I wouldn't wanna infer anything. I guess there are men that, little Richard, little Richard wears makeup, so I guess 
I probably shouldn't say hers. That's going to do it for this home. If you have any questions about this or any other home on the market, please give me a call. We've got homes that are like this, not this particular home, but homes that are like this that are in the rent to own program. So you could actually rent to own a beautiful executive home like this, no down payment, no fees, just simply two months rent security deposit. Max Williams 402 7788. I can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.